<coughs> What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to rate uh, bald people and how hot they are. Yeah, I, I don't think I need to go into any further detail. I think that's all that's needed. All right, first is Prince... Uh, which fucking prince is this again? Ah, oh, Prince Willie. Yeah, all right, so Prince Willie. You know, I just can't get that meme out of my head about how, like, actually good he looked, like, 20 years prior to when he went bald. You know, he just looks like a completely different person now. Uh, I'm not sure. He's not really looking that good. He's got, like, the old grandpa, like, mold around his head. That's not really that cool. So, Prince Willie, I'm sorry, but you're... You're kind of fugly. All right, next is Dr. Phil. Now, the cool thing about Dr. Phil's bald head is how shiny it is. If you were to shine a super bright flashlight against Dr. Phil's head, it would be so bright that it would blind people. You don't see the sun in the sky. What you see is you see the light reflecting off of Dr. Phil's head. Regardless, saying how hot he is, that bald head, that good-looking stash... That's looking pretty good. I'm gonna give Dr. Phil an A. Actually, an A. I'll give him an A tier. He's really carrying some DILF energy with him. More like Dr. Phil My Holes. I think this is Britney Spears. And I just can't get over how much she looks like an alien in this picture. All right, next is Pitbull. And I have never, I don't know if I've ever seen this picture before. He looks like he's 20 and. 50 at the same time. I don't know how that's possible, but he just does. Do I even need to say anything about Danny DeVito? Danny DeVito is sexiness personified. Danny DeVito is hot as fuck, and you don't want to pick a fight with him, all right? Because if not, then he's going to drop his monster condom for his magnum dong, and he's going to fuck the shit out of you. Danny DeVito, S tier, baby. Next is Tim Duncan. Look, he's tall and he's got big hands, so he's probably got a big cock with a big, shiny, bald head. Not too much else about Tim Duncan, but, you know, for big cock, I have to give him, you know, I'll give him a B, I suppose. Next is Woody Harrelson. Now, Woody Harrelson, I would say, would look pretty hot if his nose didn't, you know, go below his mouth. <laughs> yeah, Woody Harrelson, I'm sorry. I, I gotta give him a D. Sam L. Jackson's a cutie. He's a cute motherfucker, so I'll give Sam L. J I'll give him an A. I think he's pretty cute. I don't know. Jam James McAvoy just kind of looks like your average IT intern, so I've, I've really got nothing for him. I guess I'll give him a, a C, I guess. Ooh, good old one-eyed Mike Wazowski. Yeah, Mike Wazowski's also kind of a cutie. That Medusa lady knew what she was going after. So yeah, Mike Wazowski, I'll have to give an A as well. Next is Vin Diesel. You know, Vin Diesel does look pretty cute, but it would be kind of unfortunate to be in a relationship with him because he mumbles everything he says. I don't know. It'd, it'd be tough to understand what he says. So Vin Diesel, I'll give a B. Much like Danny DeVito with Shrek, I don't really have to say anything. Shrek, again, is just the pure embodiment of sexiness, okay? I don't know what all those anime weebs are talking about with their waifu body pillows or anything like that. If you have any common sense, you have a big shrek body pillow right next to you it's what i have i have two of them i have two shrek body pillows and i sandwich myself between those two shrek body pillows every night to go to sleep and every night i have a wet dream that i'm sandwiched between between two shreks and in a way i'm living out my dreams so shrek is an absolute s tier all right now out of everyone on this list this is the only guy who i really don't know who he is uh he but the way that this picture is cropped, it looks like his head would just expand even further, like all the way out here, looking like Mega Mind, looking like he's got a fucking big ass tumor in his head. Dude has a bigger forehead than Peyton Manning. I don't know. I can't say much about that. I'll have to give him a D. Next is Vern Troyer, Mini Me. Yeah, he's a cutie, uh, you know, as always. I don't have too much to say about him. He's He's just, you know... He's a cutie, so I'll have to give him an A. Next is Bruce Willis. Yeah, he's kind of rocking that uh, DILF energy. Well, I guess now he's kind of he's pretty old, so he's rocking more of that GILF energy. Personally, I'm not as big of a fan uh, of, 
of gilfs as I am of dilfs. So yeah, gilf energy, I'll have to give a B. Jason Statham is just a younger British version of Bruce Willis. So I'll have to give him a B. Although that scene in Crank where he was fucking his girlfriend out in the open was pretty metal, though. Next is Shaquille O'Neal, or as I like to call him, Shaquille O-Make-Me-Squeal. Because holy fuck, this guy's dick is probably the size of Kevin Hart, and I'm pretty down for that. So Shaquille Make-Me-Squeal, I give you an A. Next is Terry Crews. Now, just being the guy in all the Old Spice commercials, I think, automatically puts him close to the top right there. I think, personally, he's the superior Old Spice guy, and I'd let him bend me over a kitchen counter table whenever he wants to. So, Terry Crews, you get an S, in my opinion. You're up there with the big boys. And last is Stanley Tucci. Eh, not much about Stanley Tucci. He doesn't exactly have gilf energy. The kind of energy that he screams to me is the type of energy of, you know, the 50-year-old boss who would screw the 20-year-old intern. She doesn't want to, and he's in a loveless marriage, and he's trying to get some affection, and that's just the only way that he can do it. Yeah, I don't really get too much out of Stanley Tucci there. All right, well, here's my tier list for all the, the bald baddies out there. Hairless sexiness that I can slap a cheese on their heads. So, yeah, that's the list. Bye.